New at six, Pinellas County leaders say they desperately need millions of dollars to make our roads safer and less congested. But you could end up picking up your tab. ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck driving Tampa Bay forward live in Clearwater to explain more on this. Sarah? Well, this time of day, a lot of us end up getting stuck in traffic. Right now, we're on Golf to Bay, and we're hardly moving. And with hundreds more people moving to Tampa Bay, our roadways are only going to get more hectic. Zachary Westfall grew up in Pinellas County. Now, the same roads he has traveled for years are busier than ever. It's dangerous. I, I risk my life every day on the highway. He's had some close calls on his scooter. I've hit a railroad track, almost fell off almost flipped. Pinellas County leaders have a list of $500 million in improvements they want to add to make drivers and pedestrians feel safe, but they're up against a growing deficit. And that could mean you having to fork over more money for improvements like adding buses, LED streetlights, sidewalks, and smart traffic signals that shave off time from your commute. The idea has drivers divided. I don't mind paying a little more for road improvements because I use those roads and I use them a lot. No, not like in another sales tax. Uh, I think we have enough in this country as it is. County leaders are considering either a half cent sales tax or a five cent gas tax. It would tack onto your total at the register. Yeah, especially for his toys, <laughs> which will definitely add up real fast. But bring in as much as a billion dollars over the next 10 years. Eh, what's a little more? I'd rather pay for that than a whole lot of other things. But would it pass? County leaders pushed for a similar transportation sales tax back in 2014, and it failed. But now as our population swells and our commute times grow, they believe drivers may have changed their minds. Now, county leaders tell me they're still mulling over if this is the best decision to improve our roads, but they hope to make a decision about whether to put it on your ballot by January. Reporting in Pinellas County, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.